What's happening, everybody? It's 11 days until the beginning of Nano Remo. I have outlined the first act of my novel, and I'm going to share some of the stuff I've been doing uh, in the preparation stages in order to help you guys to prepare for Nano Remo itself. I know what you're thinking. 11 days? You can't plan a novel in 11 days. It's just foolish. It's poppycock. What are you talking about, Jimmy? Get off the crack. Trust me. As someone who went into it totally blind last year, all this planning is actually going to help me a lot. So here's a couple of hints I'm going to share with you in order to help you through the NaNoWriMo process. Hint one. Give yourself a personal target. Now, we all know that 50,000 words is the target NaNoWriMo and the OLL set out for your actual project in November. But we've all heard of overachievers targeting 100,000, 200,000 word novels by the end of the month. These people are crazy, but let's look at it this way. At least if they don't hit that 100,000, 200,000 mark, then they're still more likely to hit that 50,000 than, you know, someone who says, okay, I'm just going to try to get that 50,000 by the end of the month. Say yourself a higher estimate target. For instance, I've set myself a target of 60,000 words. That's roughly the size of the average ya novel. To help myself out, I've made myself a, a spreadsheet in OpenOffice Calc, which is graphing out my word count throughout the month and showing me whether or not I'm hitting my targets. If you want, you can download a copy of that spreadsheet and graph from my website, there's a link in the wonder bar to the actual article. All you have to do is input your high-end target into the bottom of the spreadsheet. It'll graph out everything. You just put in your word count per day. It's gonna, you know, it'll, it'll help you out exponentially, I'm sure. Hint two: Think of the bigger picture. To plan out the structure of my novel as a whole, I've been using a method called the Rubik's Cube method, by which I've got this nine-square diagram. Uh, which plots out the nine elements of my narrative, going through the three-act structure from the first inciting incident to the finale. It's really helped me think of the bigger picture of my novel, and it's helped me look at the themes and the pacing of it as well. Thirdly, the devil is in the details. Once you've got your Rubik's Cube outline of your novel, you need to look at things in a bit more detail, and I'm talking a chapter-by-chapter chapter level. I've been using this method called phase outlining, where I take a chapter, I take the general events of that chapter, and I break it up into short phases. I describe each phase in 10 word bursts, and then I intend to extrapolate on these uh, in the actual writing process. I have a feeling it's probably going to improve my workflow for a number of reasons. One, it helps me consider the pace of the novel before I even begin writing. Two, it means that I'm not going to have to deal with that weird writer's block where I just don't know where I'm going next because I've already planned it out, step by step. And three, well, I think one and two are enough, kind of. Hint four, and this is literally the most important thing you can do in NaNoWriMo. Don't panic. If you don't write 50,000 words in a month, the novel police aren't gonna come round to your door and show you a pair of handcuffs. Chris Batty's not gonna judge you if you can't get your 50,000 word novel done in a month. He'll probably applaud you for trying. But the whole point of NaNoWriMo isn't to have a fully polished product. It's about getting off your arse and trying to write. That's kind of all it's about. You don't need to have War and Peace by the end of November. You don't have to have the next best Ya novel before the beginning of 2012, you know? And any writer will tell you, having deadlines makes things a lot more real. Even in the theoretical exercises. So have fun socialize, get to know other people doing that on your area, go to writing, enjoy the fact you're a writer for 30 days, damn it. Anyway, those are my hints. I've got one last thing to say. I am running a sponsorship campaign this year, hoping to raise $100 to aid the Office of Letters and Light. There's a link in the funder bar to my fundraising appeal on Stay Classy. Please, if you can share and do donate what you can, I'd really appreciate it. OLL are doing really great stuff with their literary programs. It's really nice to see that they get a bit of support financially from those of us who are benefiting from this free thing that they're putting together for us. Anyway, that's all. I'll see you guys on the road. Peace.